Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Eclipse IDE for C and C++ development. So this video is for those people who have already installed Eclipse IDE, but they haven't selected C and C++ development at the time of installation of Eclipse IDE. But now they want to uh, use Eclipse IDE for C and C++ development. So you can see here, I have installed this uh, Eclipse IDE for Java development and now I want to add the C and C++ support also. Here I can see that when I create a new project, so when I click on new and then click on project, I don't see any C and C++ uh, uh, project here, right? So let's see how we can add the C and C++ support. So just open your Eclipse IDE and then click on help here and then click on install new software. And once install new software window opens from the top, just select all available sites here. So once you uh, select all available sites, it's going to show you all the available sites. Now in some time, you will be able to see this kind of list here. So in this list, you need to scroll down where it says programming languages. So just select this option which says programming languages and expand this. And then you will be able to see uh, all these C and C++ tools. Also, you will be able to see other programming languages and their support. Now, under C and C++, you will also see uh, all these options here, right? So I'm going to uncheck this uh, checkbox here and check only those tools which I require. So you can see uh, there is a C and C++ auto tool support is here, Docker container tool is here, and then uh, it has unit testing support and other C and C++ support. For now, I just want to use Eclipse IDE for C and C++ development, uh, like simple programming development. So for that, I can just choose these two options. First one is C and C++ development tools. And the other one is C and C++ development tool SDK. SDK stands for software development kit. So it is required in order to uh, just develop C and C++ on Eclipse. Once you have selected both these checkboxes, just click on next here, which is going to uh, calculate the requirements and dependencies. And then it's going to show you these options. So we have selected both these options. The C development tool will come with uh, GDB support development platform, G GNU toolkit build support, and then you have the SDK. It will come with development tools and then C and C++ uh, development tool developer resources. So I'm going to click on next here. And then we need to uh, accept license terms and conditions. So just uh, select this toggle button here and then click on finish, which is going to download these tools. So you can see the progress bar here and you can also see the installation percentage. So you can see installing software. And right now uh, this uh, percentage is 49%. So I'm going to wait for the download. And once all the packages are installed, it's going to show you this kind of uh, message which says restart Eclipse IDE to support the software update. So you just need to click on restart now button which is going to restart your Eclipse IDE and you can see my Eclipse IDE has been started and after the installation of all the C and C++ packages, Eclipse IDE is going to just set up all these C and C++ support packages. And once that's done, I'm going to click on this option here, which says restore this small option here. And it's going to restore your uh, window here. And now once uh, you can see this kind of interface on Eclipse IDE, you can click on create a new project from here, or you can click on file and then click on new and then click on project. And now you can see the support for C and C++ also. So just expand this option. And then I'm going to create a C++ project for now. So I'm going to select C++ here and then click on next here. And now I'm going to just select this one. It says hello world C++ project. And you can see my uh, MinGW toolchain is recognized here. 
if you don't see min gw's gcc uh, compiler tool chain here you might need to install min gw separately on your windows 11 operating system so i have already created a video in which i have shown how you can install min gw on your eclipse ide so watch that video and then you can easily install min gw on your windows 11 operating system but if you already see this uh, min gw gcc compiler here you don't need to do anything and then you just need to give the name to your project i'm going to name my project as hello world here and then i'm going to click on next button here i can uh, provide the name of the author i will just give a very simple name here cb and then click on next and just uh, leave everything as default here and then click on finish which is going to create my c++ program and you can see uh, for the first time when you create a c or c++ program it's going to show you this window which says open the c and c++ perspective i'm going to click on open perspective and once you do that it's going to open the c and c++ perspective here right so now you can see that our project is created and because we have chosen hello world program in c++ you can see a sample c++ program is also here under source under source folder we have hello world.cpp file and this is the code inside the cpp file now how you can compile or build your program and run it so you can see at the top all these options right these icons here so you can see this option build debug for the project and you can also see the run uh, button here so in order to build your project you can click on this option or you can click on project and then click on build all option here or you can click build project if you want to build the project right so i'm going to click on the build project option here which is going to build my project and you will see uh, the output here of the build and you can see build finished successfully zero errors zero warning and in order to run this program you can click on this run option and then click on run as a local c and c++ application which is going to run your program and show you the output here right so you can see hello world is printed here you can also click on this uh, run a hello world.exe file which is also going to run your exe file and show you the result here you can now uh, change your code for example and then click on run so when you click on run it's going to ask you if you want to build your program also right so just select your cpp file click on ok and it's going to build your c++ file and then show you the result right so it's going to compile your c++ program and then it's going to run your c++ program so this is how you can add the support for c and c++ in your eclipse ide i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video